just on this. Okay. All right, this I'm gonna show y'all how to build this alternator, and right now what I'm gonna do is show you what it can do. Just under a thousand RPMs. It's putting out good charging voltage. Just under a thousand. Point the camera at this gauge up here. And now I want you to see what it does on the holes. It actually kicks in. less than 500 RPM. But it's using more voltage in the tank until it reaches right at almost a thousand RPM. Alright, this alternator here I painted, I built. I'm going to show you how to build this. This is not a PMA. This is actually an alternator. It's a one wire, so all you have to do is have a positive battery cable here and the ground to the body somewhere. And it will charge. You don't have to use these plugs. Um, <coughs> i got this little tester here. It doesn't work for the crap. i got my meter up here. It's a bolt-off, but it, what it does is it backs up this one, because I know it's exactly a bolt-off. Here's my little marker. My little bolt meter. Let's see what the last screen it was. 1,000, 1,053 RPMs is what it was at last time I run that. Now, next, I'm going to tear this alternator down and show you what's special about it. Now, I know you're thinking 1,000 RPMs, that's about 35 mile an hour wind speeds with one of Missouri Wind and Solar's hub and blade assemblies, but you could do a gear reduction and save yourself a whole lot of money by using this. It has its downfalls. It uses brushes, so that's a downfall. Uh, it has a regulator. It has several points of weakness that a PMA doesn't, but you can control the voltage and you don't have to have uh, a load diversion because it'll automatically adjust itself to where when the battery's fully charged, it'll just spin. It won't, it won't add any more to the battery. It knows when to shut itself off. Um, these things are designed to take 8,000 RPM, so you ain't got to worry about it coming apart. Uh, it's good for geothermal, not geothermal, uh, hydro. be perfect for hydro because you easily maintenance it that way. But I'm going to show you how to take this thing apart and uh, how I built it and what you got to have to build it. And uh, I'm going to be working on another project trying to get that actual charging voltage to be at where it should be when this thing's running about five to six hundred RPMs. Right now it kicks in at about five hundred RPMs. It actually starts the alternator starts at about five hundred RPMs, but it doesn't actually put out charging voltage till almost just just a hair under a thousand RPMs. But uh, I'll get back to you with another video giving details. I will actually disassemble this, show you everything in it, where to get it, and how to do this all yourself. Um, this one is actually brand new. This case, this has never been on a vehicle. Uh, I bought it brand new, and then I modified it. Uh, I will keep you posted.